During a crash, a large force causes a car to lose all momentum. Here we have two cars which have just been in a head-on collision. Before the crash, both cars had momentum, which is the product of their mass and their velocity. This would have been around 24,000 kilogram meters per second for each car. As the crash causes the cars to stop, all of this momentum is lost. So the momentum is changing from 24,000 to zero. This happens because of the contact force between the two cars. Remember that a force will cause a change in momentum and the magnitude of the force determines the rate of change of momentum. We can write this as the equation F equals delta P over delta T, where this delta symbol means change in. In the crash, the change in momentum is very large and it happens in a very short time. So the reaction force causing this will be extremely large. This is dangerous as it will affect the passengers inside and cause them harm. For this reason, the car has multiple safety features to reduce the effects of this force on the passengers inside. We can't change the momentum lost in a crash. It will always go from a high value to zero. We can change the time taken for this momentum to be lost though. If this increases, then the equation shows us that the force will decrease to a safer value. Let's take a look at some of the ways this can be done. Crumple zones increase the time it takes the car to come to a stop. So a crumple zone is part of the car which is designed to collapse on itself when experiencing a large force. Here we see a car that's just been in a crash. Notice that the front of the car hasn't just been bent out of shape, it's completely crumpled up. By crumpling, the car doesn't immediately stop from the contact force of the crash. It continues moving and gradually slows down as the crumple zone collapses. This means that the crash lasts longer and the average force on the car decreases. Now what about the insides of the car? What safety features directly affect the passengers? Seat belts slowly bring passengers to a stop before they hit something in the car. So the force of a crash will often throw passengers out of their seat, which is dangerous as they'll hit the dashboard or the seat in front with a lot of momentum. They'll be stopped suddenly by a large reaction force. That's why it's important for passengers to wear their seat belts. These will stretch out when the passenger pushes against them. As a result, it will take them longer to stop and it will be a much smaller force that causes them to lose their momentum. But what happens if the seatbelt doesn't slow the passenger enough to stop them from hitting the dashboard? Well, airbags will cushion passengers as they hit the dashboard. An airbag is a cushion that inflates out of the dashboard. A system in the car will automatically deploy them as it detects the force from a crash. The airbag cushions a passenger's head by bringing it to a stop gradually. This increases the time it takes to stop and decreases the force to do so. In an exam, you may be asked to give an example of a safety feature in a car or explain how a given feature reduces the force from an impact. So make sure you're aware of the examples we've covered here. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there.